Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. This is my first video for the new year and I thought I would bring some um, new year type scents in the terms of the names of the fragrance mess because this is a time in the year that we're looking forward to the future. We're excited. Um, we have things that we're going to try to make as resolutions or if you don't do resolutions, just most people try to make improvements in their life or they try to plan for fun occasions coming up in the new year. So, I decided to take some of the names from Bath and Body Works Fragrance Mist and use them as the foundation for the combos that I'm going to choose. So, let's see, we're going to start off with Life of the Party. I wanted to do this before New Year's Eve. But I didn't get a chance to do that. I had some other things I had to do. So, I'm, life of the party. The notes on life of the party are pink citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, shimmering vanilla. I've already worn this and I do like it more than I thought when I initially got it. It's a soft, pretty, floral, bubbly, creamy type scent. Not really cream, but more sweet. But the, va the vanilla does come through. And the prominent note for me was the citrus and the vanilla. So, what I actually wore with this already was my new fragrance that I got as a gift. Jador Parfum Du. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Okay. So, the reason why I chose the Jador Du is because of the jasmine. And And because it's slightly sweet, it has a softness that I thought would mix well with the life of the party, and it really did. It was a really um, pretty soft floral fragrance, and with the life of the party, it added a bit of... Um, a bit of that Prosecco, that sparkling note. Yeah, okay. Yep. So I enjoyed that. This was a nice combo. And I thought this would be a happy combo for the beginning of the year. And so, but what I did with each one of these fragrances, I gave two choices for each fragrance mist. So that people can try these out and let me know, you know, what they think. Did they like the combo? Did it work out for them? So the next one I chose was C. Fiori to go with the life of the party because it's nice and creamy and sweet. It's a bit floral and fruity. The notes in... Um, C. Fiori, our black currant. Oh, I'm not going to go through the notes. I just want to tell you what how they feel. But this one does not have the prominent note of jasmine, but I chose this one because it has the vanilla note. And I thought that it would bring out a little bit of the vanilla in Life of the Party. And Life of the Party would add some sparkliness to C. Fiori. And they're both kind of light fragrances. I just thought that they work, work, would work together. And now that I'm looking at it, it does look like it's a pretty match. <laughs> it 
So that was my second combo for Life of the Party. Then I have Pure Wonder. With the new year, we are wondering what's going to happen in the new year. So I thought this would be a perfect fragrance. I thought it would be a perfect fragrance for a, the new year. Not just the celebration of the new year coming, but just starting off the new year with a, a new zest for life. So Pure Wonder. The first fragrance I chose was My Way Intense. Oh, I didn't tell you the notes on Pure Wonder. The notes on, the notes on Pure Wonder is Ice Rosé, Star Jasmine, Warm White Amber. Okay, so for this one, I really, I didn't really go by the notes. I went by the way that my way comes across. It comes off sweet and a little bit bright. And I just thought it would blend well with Pure Wonder. Pure Wonder has a little bit of bubbliness in it. And it's just soft and pretty. It has a cleanness to it. And slightly citrus. And so the My Way has some citrus notes in it and I just thought that they would blend nicely together. So that's my first combo, Pure Wonder and My Way. Next, I have another Giorgio Armani <laughs> fragrance. I'm sitting here looking at them and didn't realize I picked two Giorgio Armani fragrances to go with Pure Wonder. So the next one is um, C. F no, C. Passion. So this does have like the amber, this has warm white amber and this one has amber wood in it and it has some jasmine. And this one is a bit fruity and also bright. I'll say a bit fresh also. And I think the Pure Wonder would add some bubbliness to it. It has um, a little bit of citrus. Because it has grapefruit in it. And I just thought that the Giorgio Armani would be a good combination for Pure Wonder starting off the new year. So for my next combo, I chose In the Stars. In the Stars has notes of star flower, sandalwood musk, sugar tangelo, argar wood, radiant amber. This is the more airy, slightly citrus, more of a serious um, type of fragrance. Slightly sweet. This isn't overly sweet like a lot of Bath and Body Works um, body sprays. This one is a bit more toned down. It has the amber in it. So I actually wore this today. This was my fragrance of the day. I wore In the Stars with Burberry Her. They compare, not these two fragrances, but they compare In the Stars to Baccarat 540, they compare Burberry Her to Baccarat 540. So I said, why not 
put them together and see what happens. And this was a beautiful combo. This smelled really good. Um, it was just like a perfect combo. I don't really think it has no, well, it has some amber wood in here. So it does have amber. Oh, wait, wrong one. Let's see. It does have some woodiness in here. So that helped and some amber. But as you know, this is a very fruity fragrance. It has lots of fruits, um, which is still, it has some citrus, it has mandarin and lemon. So that will blend well with the tangelo, same type of family. We have some jasmine in here. Oh, jasmine is not in this one, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Because this was a nice combo. It does have amber and the citrus in common. And this, I would wear again. I would say really try this one out. Because I haven't tried all of these. But this is one that I tried and it was very good. I enjoyed that today. The next combo that I chose for In The Stars is Mad Sarah Insta Crush because Insta Crush is also another one that's compared to Baccarat 540. I don't have Baccarat, but I have these and I've tried these before and this was nice. I think I did add apple to this, but the Insta Crush Mad Sarah with In The Stars is a very nice combo. You do have... Let me see what it has in here. We have some um, bergamot in there. So we have some citrus. And we have um, some amber. Which amber isn't in Mansara. But the mixture of or the combination of some of the notes does create an ambery smell. And it does have sandalwood. So these two mix very well together. I sprayed some on my hand. Let's we'll spray some more. Spray them together. See? But I know it, it would be very nice together. I just think that the um, in the stars will add a little bit more of citrus, a little bit more of brightness to it. And the instant crush will add some sweetness to in the stars. These two will go very well together. So I know that'll be a good combo. That's a no-brainer combo. Okay, I've been talking about my lighter and brighter type fragrances, but this time I'm going to talk about Fairy Tale. This is a pump it's like a sweet, creamy, orange blossom fragrance. It has, it's a bit bright too. It has pomegranate ne nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, warm amber. This is a beautiful fragrance. You can wear it by itself. I never have, but I know you can't because it's um, a little bit heavier and a little bit more um, I think it has more of an elevated sense, a scent, maybe because it's not so um, fruity and bubbly like a lot of the Bath and Body fragrances. It's a nice scent. So, I chose Girl of Now Shine by Ellie Saab. I have actually worn these two together. Is very pretty and sweet. If you don't like sweet, you don't want to put these two together. Well, if you don't like sweet, you don't want Ellie Saab, Girl of Now Shine, period. Because this is sweet. It's vanilla and almond. And uh, it has some fruity notes. The orange blossom comes through. And so the fairy tale with the um, Girl of Now Shine really brings out the orange blossom. This is a pretty combo. You will get compliments. 
And I've also worn this one together. This is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. This has a, a it's this is a um heavy orange blossom or orange blossom heavy fragrance. It has um the orange or the citrus notes, and then you have the beautiful vanilla and amber and all of the sweet notes. So this one goes very nicely together. And this also helps to bring out the orange notes or the orange blossom in Very Good Girl. Another nice combo that you're going to get um, compliments from. And both of these are heavy hitter fragrances, so it makes a heavy hitter combo. Very nice. My next combo starts off with Dream Bright. Dream Bright has fragrance notes of sapphire berries, night blowing orchid, and crystallized vanilla. Okay, so the reason why I chose C Intense is because of the berries. And this is a beautiful wine like fragrance. And I just thought the Dream Bright with all of the berries and the vanilla would go nicely. This doesn't have vanilla in it, but it does have benzoin in it. I believe benzoin acts as a type of vanilla ick type fragrance. <laughs> or maybe it gives it more of an amber flair. Either way, I thought this would be a pretty heavy hitting um, like a date night type of fragrance. And hey, when you want a date, you might want to dream bright. <laughs> then I have Modest Dew. That was an, another reason why I chose Modest Dew is because it has lots of um, berries in it. It has strawberry and raspberry. And it has vanilla, so I thought this would be very pretty together. It's another heavy hitting, um, fruity, sensual type fragrance. So I chose Modest Dew to layer with Dream Bright. When starting off the new year, I always think it's kind of fun to believe that we have some magic in the air. A new year always seems to bring a bit of wonder and magic. And we're always expecting something new, fresh, and bright. So, magic in the air. And I chose to layer it with Valentina... Valentino, born in Roma. So the notes and magic in the air are almond flower, sparkling, persimmon, white iris, whipped vanilla bourbon, fluffy sandalwood. This is a pretty fresh, sweet fragrance. It has a, it's slightly warm, even though it's fresh and sweet. I didn't think I really liked this one when I got it, but when I put it on my body, it was very nice. I did enjoy this fragrance. Let's see. Okay, I chose the Valentino Born Aroma to go with the magic in the air because to me, they're both quite bright with a bit of sweetness from the vanilla. So, this will be a good combo. The Valentino, I want to call it Valentino, but it's Valentino Born in Roma. To me, is a bit floral and so is Magic in the Air. The next combo I chose for Magic in the Air was Alien Goddess. Once again, because of the bourbon vanilla and a bit of brightness. But Alien Goddess 
is um, it's a bit sweet and soft. It has a bit of creaminess in it, just like the magic in the air. And for the people that don't necessarily want all of the heavier fragrances, this will be a nice one. I actually chose quite a few brighter, fresher type fragrances for this um, video. But this is another one. You can bring out your alien goddess and put her to some use. <laughs> yeah, I think these two. Because now that I'm smelling this again, it seems to have a bit of um, brightness and maybe even a bit of effervescence to it. I think that would be really, really nice with the magic in the air. And for a thousand wishes, this has notes of pink Prosecco, sparkling kinks, crystal peonies, gilded amber, and amaretto cream. This is a pretty, sparkly, sweet, creamy, citrusy, sweet, I said sweet already, type fragrance. The peonies is so pretty in this. This is more of a brighter, lighter, bubbly type fragrance, but I switched it up and I picked some heavier fragrances to blend them with. The first one I picked was K. Ali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, number 25. I just thought because this is such a... Oh, so pretty. So pretty. It's a spicy vanilla rose type scent. I just thought that A Thousand Wishes would bring... <laughs> would bring some freshness to, to this and would blend quite nicely. I went in a whole different direction with this one. And I think that would be nice. Because Kayali, let me see, is it a bit creamy? I know it's a bit, I feel like something on my nose. It's just a pretty fragrance to me. It just it, it it has that spiciness from the saffron and the pink pepper, um, mixed with that vanilla and the sandalwood. It gives it a, it's a bit creamy from the sandalwood. Nice combo. Now the next one is another unexpected combo. I went with Venom of Love with a thousand wishes. So this has some amber in it, not amber, but it does have amber wood, but it has like almond cream and vanilla and the cherry. And I said, let's mix these up together. We'll bring some of the heavy hitting, creamy sweetness um, and the cherry notes from Venom of Love to this um, bright, sparkly, creamy, slightly sweet Thousand Wishes, Wishes fragrance and put them together and make an unexpected, unexpected combo. Okay, so that ends this video, but a lot of the Fresh note fragrances can be mixed and matched. I know one of them that I thought of, but another YouTube thought of it too. I think they actually tried it. Was um, it was actually Jasmine Bullard? These two. These were the two I was gonna put together because I'm not really a fan of the Valentino Born Aroma. But I thought it would go very nice with Life of the Party. I think she's already done it. And she said she really liked it. She already worn it. 
So I thought that would be a nice um, combo. A lot of these, um, in all actuality, I think a lot of my lighter fragrances that I chose All of these, I think, all of these could be mixed and matched. And at some point throughout this year, I probably will end up doing this. Could be mixed and matched with all of these. So I didn't say the names. I'll say the names now. The Thousand Wishes, Life of the Party, Magic in the Air. Pure Wonder, I think it all be mixed and matched with My Way Intense, C, um, C Passion, Angel Goddess, C Fiori, Jador Du, and Valentino Born Aroma. I think all of those could be mixed and matched and you'll probably come out with a nice combo. So I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to try to get my energy up. I feel like I'm not as bubbly as I normally am, but I still hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know if you tried some of these combos or if you're going to try, I should say, if you're going to try some of these combos in the upcoming year, because we're still trying to enjoy all of our fragrances and all of our body care. And we like to mix them up and make new fragrances. So I want to welcome and thanks all of the new subscribers and the next existing subscribers. I did not make my goal of a thousand before, um, December 31st, but I'm well on my way. I'm very close to 600 at this point. And I do thank you for um, clicking on the videos that I put up. And I think I stated in one other video that I have lots of videos that you can watch. If you really like layering videos, I have plenty of them. I have a playlist for layering videos. If you like to hear a lot about the um, Bath and Body Works, I have lots of those. And I have lots of perfume hauls that I did last year. So because I did so much perfume hauling last year, I really want to make videos on using all of these fragrances that I bought last year. And not just run out and buy a bunch of fragrances. Even though I already got some coming. <laughs> but I'm going to do better this year, I hope. But what I can say, for the most part, the fragrances that I bought, I really do enjoy. There was very few that it was like, mm, I don't like them. So, once again, please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment about the combos and what you think of them and if you're going to try them. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.